so I really enjoy watching the sort of, you know, romanticizing the mundane and everyday life kind of vlog style videos here on YouTube and I don't think I've ever seen anyone do like a lot version of that or if there is one out there I, I haven't come across it so I think in the spirit of wanting to do something that I would enjoy watching I'm going to attempt to do this vlog like those kinds of vlogs. It is Wednesday the 11th of September 2024. I'm currently very tired, I'm a mess and I have not started prepping for the final Empire event of the year which is this, well technically it's next tomorrow. It's it's tomorrow but um, I'm arriving Friday um, and I need to get myself sorted ready for the final LARP event of the year. It's crazy that um, it will be a year anniversary since joining Empire and being in Anvil so I want to make sure that I you know feel my best I bring my A game and I just have a wonderful time so I've written down some things that uh, I'm going to do I'm gonna take you guys along with me it's just very normal things and I'm gonna see if I can romanticize them somewhat in this vlog Basically, there's a few categories that I need to figure out and sort out before I leave on Friday morning. Um, and that boils down to packing, self-care, um, shopping, <laughs> uh, some schedule prep for Celine, specifically um, what the plan is gonna be over the weekend, all the stuff that at least I can plan right now. And finally, some miscellaneous bits and pieces. So I am just, sorting myself out mentally right now tonight and we'll probably get started on these tomorrow it's going to be a very busy day tomorrow i'm going to try and film as much of it as i can and and kind of give a nice cozy vlog whilst being quite realistic if anybody is interested in doing art for the first time or, or is wondering how everybody else deals with prepping for larp events then yeah, grab a, something to drink and eat and get all cozy and I'll take you along for the next 24-ish hours of preparing for the last Empire event of the year. Ah, oh, transition. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. Um, as I said, I'm not going to go to Empire until Friday because I'm working today. But we're going to spend the whole day prepping, packing, doing everything. And one of the things that... I always like to do is use Empire as an opportunity for self-care so when I'm becoming Celine for the weekend I kind of want to get in the mindset and feel like I'm embodying the character so I do like a whole refresh um, I've just done my workout and now I am going to hit the showers first to do an everything shower if you're not familiar with the concept of an everything shower it's essentially the shower where you do everything, <laughs> everything from shaving, scrubbing, uh, polishing, buffing, whatever you use to try and reset your body. Um, so this is what I'm going to be doing now. Obviously, I'm not going to film it, <laughs> um, but I will see you on the other side after I am suitably shaved, buffed and polished. <laughs> tight but once I have some downtime really quickly in between work stuff I'm going to pop to the shops and I've got a little shopping list of things I need to get from Superdrug and the things I need to get from Tesco and then I'll take you with me and we'll come back and I'll show you my lovely wonderful haul which I'm sure will be really exciting. Welcome to the floor vlog. Oh, bye. <laughs> there we go. Welcome to the floor vlog. Um, it's after lunch. 
I have my bag of goodies and we're going to start with this bad boy from Tesco's. E4 is going to be apparently very, very cold in the evening. Um, I do have lovely blankets at home. I am worried that, you know, there could be a risk of them getting ruined whilst camping. So I got a specific camping teddy fleecy that will give me an extra layer at night. So very excited to try and find out what am I doing? Um, we'll do food next, we'll do food. Belvita, come through with the breakfast bars. Just want something nice and easy in the morning in case we get up super late or we just need like a sweet snack or something in the tent. So we've got a little bit of breakfasty goodness. And it's also very handy to kind of put in bags as well to keep munching on. Firm favorite of mine, to be honest, mini cheddars. There's something about a mini cheddar coming back to the tent on a Saturday evening at 2 a.m. It just hits right. It just hits right. And also the like micro bags, the small packs are like super helpful too. Okay, so I usually grab like two lunchy pastry slices. I go with Ginksters usually. Ginksters? Gin Gin Why am I saying it weird? So I also usually pick up like two pastry things as well for backup lunches. So again, in case I run out of time to do something or uh, to have lunch one of the days, I have got backup sort of lunches that will sustain me at least for a little bit, so I'm not having to walk all the way from the Wintermark camp to the like out of character food court, because it's the furthest away. I think it's like the camp that is the furthest away from that OC area. So having these in the tent, big lifesaver. Also, I do like to save some pennies on food because it can be quite expensive. So having one of those for a lunch, just to tie me over until dinner, is usually good. Honestly, the rest is pretty boring. Um, I'll just keep it relevant to LARP, so, Holy Grail item, oh bye again. <laughs> Holy Grail item for me is a NYX Micro Pencil uh, in the shade Taupe. If you're looking for an eyebrow pencil, it's affordable, it stays on long, it's great, especially for fair hair, because my eyebrows are non-existent, as we will see later on when I continue my self-care journey to tint them. Um, I've just ran out, so we love a good NYX product. Also, travel size. Again, we will go over sort of packing in a little bit, but I usually take travel size goods. For me, I have a, a cleansing balm, which is the, the B by Superdrug Cleansing Balm. Really small, tiny, very cute, very demure, very mindful. And this just helps remove all the makeup in the evening. Can confirm it's very good, very affordable too, uh, especially because I wear so much of that black face paint. This takes it all off, it's great, so recommend that if you're looking for a cleansing balm to take off your makeup at the end of the day. Really that's it, I just got a big version for home because I've ran out and then I also got some body scrub because I've ran out and that is it, that's the mini haul. So the shopping is done, I need to get some cash out just in case which I will probably do tomorrow morning and now it's finishing off work this afternoon, finishing some self care, packing and then I think I'm done. <laughs> We'll see. It's time. <laughs> it's time to pack. It is like approaching 7 p.m. I think at this point we need to pack. I always have a list so I have a pre-written list of everything that I need to pack or at least like the absolute essentials and I can review if there's anything else I've missed and um, so I'm gonna go through that list with you and you can kind of see what I pack and how I particularly pack as light as possible. I am a public transport girly to get to Empire, so I prefer to pack as light as I possibly can um, without sort of suffering going without things that I really need, especially since E4 this year is going to be super cold in the evening. I don't want to skimp on things that are going to keep me insulated and warm. The other thing I love to do is put on my playlist. So if you haven't already done this, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna put you here a second, actually. If you don't already have one, um, make like a little character Spotify playlist. I'm going to link mine if you wanna kinda of hear the vibes that Celine has for whatever reason, or maybe it inspires your own playlists, but it kind of just pumps you up and gets you going and gets you really excited, ready to head back to Anvil and, you know, start thinking about like your character, embodying your character what they want to do over this particular summit, you know, all the good stuff. So I'm going to begin packing and listening to the Celine playlist and take you along with me.
walking lightly. <laughs> I know this looks ridiculous, I know, but it actually looks worse than it is. I've got a couple more things to pack in the morning, you know, stuff like toothbrush, hairbrush, things that I will use first thing in the morning, toiletry bag, and then I'll pop it back in. But for the most part, she's pre-stacked and packed and ready to LARP. The other thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to steam my dress. I know it probably sounds a little bit backwards to this, you know, iron stuff and then pack it up for it to get all crinkled, but I, I swear that it makes a difference when I steam my dress and then kind of carefully place it on top when I finish packing. It comes out far nicer than if I just don't do it at all and then I can hang it up in the tent to kind of loosen up a little bit whilst I get ready when I arrive at the campsite, so it's just much better. But you've seen a little snippets of what I've been packing in my suitcase and what I pack for LARP where it's public transport friendly. But I'm going to do like a detailed run through of what exactly it is because Oh yes, I've created a spreadsheet. Um, I created a spreadsheet way back when I started LARPing last year, way back, a year ago. It's only a year ago. <laughs> so split into three sections, you've got like the character slash person section, you've got the camping section, and you've got the personal belonging section. So in the character section, it has our OC name and then our character name. And then it's just a sanity check of do we have our character sheet up to date? I know that you have to do it beforehand. You need to go on the Profound Decisions website and make sure you've done your downtime way before now. But as a sanity check, um, do we have our main costume slash kit that's ready? Uh, if we have any weapons, props, and of course the ticket to the event. So a lot of these you need to check before the night before, way before the night before but it's just like a nice checklist that you can build up and you know draw some momentum to as you're prepping for LARP. Okay next in the camping section we have a tent. I'm not doing a tent again this time we are going with Rent Bell Tents. Not sponsored. Beds again don't need beds because Rent Bell Tents has got camping beds to purchase. Not sponsored again this is sounding very sponsored though. <laughs> Bedding, so uh, I bring my pillow with me. Um, I've done it without my pillow before. I prefer it with, for obvious reasons. Also, uh, the blanket that I mentioned earlier and the sleeping bag. Please be aware of what sleeping bag you are bringing. Make sure it's appropriate for the cold nights. Mine is an all seasons, but leans more on the colder season side sleeping bag. I think I recommended it in one of my past hot or not videos. So. I will link that somewhere for you to check it out because I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head and now I can't see it because it's buried. Food. Food. Always bring a bag of food as a just in case. These are mostly sort of snack based stuff that I bring. Um, I also recommend bringing an empty water bottle, preferably like a litre, you know, just like an empty pop bottle or like litre water bottle. The uh, reason why it's empty is because there's usually taps, or in this case uh, Anvil, there are taps on site. So instead of lugging around a full bottle of water in your suitcase, you can just bring an empty one, fill it up at the campsite, use it during the camping weekend, and then either bring it home to reuse or recycle it at the campsite. Thermals. I cannot stress enough, even if it's in the summer month, get yourself at least two good pairs of thermals to use during the day and also in the evening. Two for me is a minimum because um, I like to have a nighttime pair and a daytime pair. The daytime pair is usually a little bit lighter because I will walk quite a lot during the day and I don't want to get hot and sweaty, whereas the thicker pair I use at night when I'm stationary and trying to sleep and I'm keeping in that warmth. A mirror, really easy to forget, but try and get yourself, if you if you need one, one of those mirrors that has a little push stand at the bottom so you can put it on the floor or a table or on top of your suitcase to try and angle so you don't have to hold something up to do your hair and makeup when you're putting on your kit. Highly recommend a little mirror. Toilet paper, they usually have toilet paper on site everywhere. I always prefer bringing my own roll, again, just in case, you know, if you get a bit like 3, 4 a.m. for an impromptu toilet break and you need to go to one of the port loos I'll usually bring my own toilet paper with me just in case I get there and there is none. It's just for safety, you know, and it's super light to pack, so why not? Now some of these things, these next things especially, I don't pack, but I have written it down 
as again if we felt the need to pack them I think they're probably very useful items to have. Um, that includes a flashlight, I don't bring a flashlight because I have lamps which I'll get to, uh, a cool box, again it's a nice to have but it's unnecessary for me and we don't particularly stay around our in-character tent area apart from getting ready and sleeping. Come on in! Uh, paper plates and cutlery um, or in-character dishware, you know like wooden bowls and spoons. Um, I don't particularly use them either because we'll either go back and eat in the privacy of our own tent or we'll go to the out of character food area and there's normal cutlery and recyclable utensils there anyway. Um, I think if you're a part of a bigger camp and you have sort of a larger in character area you might want to invest in that sort of tableware and cutlery but for us it's kind of like a mm, don't really need it. Bin bags. Bring a bin bag, that's all I need between myself and Rebecca is one normal bin bag. You will thank yourself because you end up accumulating rubbish inside the tent somehow or you pick up things during the day and you bring them back with you and you're like, oh, where's the bin? <laughs> so uh, where we are at Wintermark, there is like a huge skip bin uh, next to the port which are, you know, just kind of at the crossroads between uh, Wintermark and Dawn. But usually what will happen is we'll have a bin bag in our tent for the entire weekend. We barely fill it up to be honest but we do accumulate some rubbish just by eating inside and it's much nicer to store it in a bin out the way in the corner of the tent and then throw it away on the Sunday than have to kind of shuffle with armfuls of like wrappers and stuff so and it's just cleaner and more hygienic to be honest so even if you don't have a lot of rubbish by the end of the weekend just bring a bin bag you know help the environment around you out by not leaving rubbish around and just dump it in the provided refuse area at the end of the week weekend oh my god could you imagine a week i mean i love i love empire i don't know if i could survive a week though like i could probably do four days i don't know if i could do seven <sighs> medicine bag again really important in my opinion just take a little bag that has some just in case medicine Perhaps you're already somebody who do, does need to take medication anyway, who do need to take medication, who does need to take medication. For me, it's just sort of like your standard ibuprofen, just in case, some cold and flu tablets, just in case, um, and then usually like blister patches and a couple of plasters. Um, and that's probably as much as I bring because I don't want to overcrowd it. Sometimes I bring a, like an antihistamine packet as well, or maybe throat lozenges, just in case. Um, but nothing huge, just, just enough to kind of get you through the weekend in case you suffer from any cuts or bruises or headaches or menstrual cramps, whatever. So the next couple of bits for camping are more aesthetic, things like tent decorations, any seating if you need seating um, around your camp. Again, we only have a small tent, so last time I bought some floor cushions, I think I only used them like twice. Uh, so this time around we're not going to have like a public section of our tent it's just going to be private quarters um so there's no need to bring the floor pillows this time around lanterns as i've mentioned instead of a torch i've bought lanterns these are battery powered uh they look like older lanterns but they're actually very very bright they have uh, three settings a sort of high power medium power low power they're super easy they're in character um and they're very useful and I recommend getting a sort of in-character torch, usually lanterns or camping lanterns are the way to go, you can get a load on Amazon. Um, again, I believe these lanterns are ones that I've already spoken about in one of my Hots or not, so I will link that down below. And lastly, this for me is an absolute must-have, hand warmers. Again, these were in my E1 Hots and Knots this year. I cannot stress enough how good these were, they're wireless, rechargeable hand warmers from the distant land of Bezos but sometimes we do have to get things from the distant land of Bezos you know they're really good um, if you don't already have some form of hand warmer I know you can get the ones where you can um, activate by you know clicking inside and it, and it warms up the gel and then you can put it in boiling water or cold water to reset I can't remember which way around um, anything like that when you know it's going to be cold is such a lifesaver so get yourself some hand warmers 
new for today actually or this time around rather um, i'm going to bring a hot water bottle we don't have access direct access to boiling water because we don't have any camping equipment uh, to boil water however empire is a really community driven space um, i've reached out to my fellow wintermarkers love you wintermark discord group um, a load of people have kind of said, oh, well, if you're around and if it's not super late and if we're still up by then, you're more than welcome to come to us and you can fill up your hot water bottle where we boil water. So thank you. OK, last and definitely not least, personal belongings. These are things that are less about camping, less communal, more about the individual that they need to bring themselves. Hygiene bag. Oh, my God. Bring a hygiene bag. Empire specifically has just renovated their toilet shower area um, near the front of the campsite. There are so many more showers now. They're all hot most of the time, but they're all hot running showers. There are hair dryers now. Uh, there are decent toilets. It's all pretty clean. It's definitely the cleanest campsite that I've been to personally. Bring your hygiene bag, have your essentials, have your body wash deodorants. Um, I don't typically bring uh, shampoo and conditioner because I don't typically wash my hair over the weekend. I'll wash it on the Friday morning before I leave and then when I get back on the Sunday I'll wash my hair then. Like my hair can stay and be fine until then. So that's some random details that nobody needed to know. <laughs> come on and you want to come up again? She is undecided where she wants to go. I don't think she likes the suitcase on the bed. <laughs> From the hygiene bag to the feminine hygiene bag, if you're somebody who menstruates, you should bring a couple of those products with you at the very least. I have been to, okay, TMI, it's fine, you'll survive. Um, last event, I was bleeding. I literally came on the Saturday of Empire. It's not nice, it's not great, it's not fun. We all know this. Everyone who has this happen to them knows it's not fun. Even if you're not due on, bring a few things just in case because there's nothing worse than being mid role play and you're like, oh no. Hand sanitizer. There are loads of different uh, places to wash your hands, and honestly, I would try and wash your hands as much as possible in between moments where you get to have a break because hand sanitizer is great. I always still feel a bit grotty if I haven't washed my hands throughout the day, like if I've not been able to like use the toilet or needed to use a toilet. You know what I mean? Like you've been so, ah, six hours have gone and you're just like, ah. Either way, hand sanitizer, no brainer, bring it. Extra socks and pants. I'm an extra socks and pants kind of girl. Doesn't matter where I'm going or for how long. I will train myself to believe that I am going to get my socks wet and shit myself at some point in the in the weekend. That has never happened. I do want a disclaimer. That has never happened. But sometimes you don't know. I, I don't know. It's just something that I've been conditioned to always bring an extra pair of socks and an extra pair of pants for unknown reasons. Pajamas and loungewear. I am nothing without my loungewear. As you can see, I'm a comfies kind of girly. I need something comfy. If I'm going back to my tent and I need to be comatose, you absolutely bet that I'm getting on my comfy thermals and then putting on my comfy polar bear pajamas, which were featured in the last hot or not. <laughs> Gorgeous, sophisticated, very winter mark. Usually I come to uh, empire wearing some sort of loungewear anyway it's it's that kind of you wake up early in the morning before you get ready you need to get to the showers you're not going to put on your kit you're going to need something to just quickly throw on whether it's an udi i've seen loads of udis being packed really smart idea can i fit mine in the suitcase <laughs> otherwise you know leggings a uh, decent pair of shoes uh, jumpers something you can just literally throw on and be yourself in when you need to be out of kit. Makeup bag, self-explanatory. If you're wearing makeup, bring your makeup bag. Sunscreen, self-explanatory. Doesn't matter what time of the year it is, you're going to be outside pretty much all day. Wear sunscreen. Uh, backup power and batteries. I don't usually take batteries. I did the first few times. 
I don't really need them. Like I felt like that was a waste of space, so I don't do that anymore. However, I do bring two portable chargers just in case. Optional sewing kit. Again, I bought this the first couple of times. Honestly, I don't really need it, but then again, I don't sew any of my kit. Some of you might, in which case, just take a little mini sewing kit with you, just in case. This next one is in all capitals, and it's uh, mead, with two exclamation marks. If you are of legal age of drinking in the UK, and you like drinking, and you can drink, then uh, you are absolutely allowed to bring your own alcohol. Um, I think there are certain rules in Empire for brewing your own alcohol, especially if you're selling it, don't quote me on that, but um, if you are just bringing your own alcohol that you've bought for your own pleasure, then that's totally fine. Uh, typically they kind of say, you know, take labels off or keep labels discreet, you know, so you don't look like you're just, you know, setting up a, an all bar one in the middle of winter mark, but all bar three people, one nation. Okay, this one's more in the hotter months. Get a handheld fan, like a, <laughs> get a handheld fan. Saved my life the past two events because it gets so hot. Plus if you get one that's big enough, you can use it as a little sunblock. Hair care. If you need hair care, bring a hairbrush, bring dry shampoo, bring hairspray if you need to as well. Uh, any accessories, any prosthetics, if you're somebody who likes wearing prosthetic elf ears, or if you have scales, or like if you're a, a naga character, or if you um, have a prosthetic scar, uh, you can bring all of that, don't forget that. <laughs> okay, shower shoes. Do yourself a favour, get a cheap pair of like slip-ons, sandals, sliders, whatever you want to call them, and designate them as your shower shoes. Now I know I said it's clean in there, and it is, honestly it is, but when you're in the smaller shower cubicles and it's a little bit cramped and you're kind of rushing around and you want to get in there, you don't want to be bringing in like your Doc Martens or your Vans to lace up. Just get something quick so you can slip on and slip off and get yourself sorted and you don't mind getting them wet in the shower just in case you do want to leave them on when you shower. Okay, not only do you bring one towel for you, you bring a second towel. The body towel is the big towel, and you use that for your hair, your body, when you do your shower, your face, and the second towel you bring is your feet towel. Again, I know I said it's clean, but we are at a camping ground. Your feet are gonna get probably the most muddiest and sweatiest out of all of you, and I don't particularly like the thought of drying out my entire body, including my feet, and then using it on my face. I designate like a very small towel as kind of like the foot towel or the towel that I would use in case of emergencies like if if something uh, leaked in the tent I can use that to mop it up you know just like a towel that I'm not going to really use on the places that I care about that much. In character money don't forget your in character stuff I have a pouch which has all my in character money my um like any resource cards that I have like mana and like any fizz rep mana crystals that I also have, I keep that in a pouch, um, which then goes into a bag. Um, on top of any other in-character things you might have, personally, I have my astronomancy cards that I use for my skein readings. I have, uh, another, uh, what else do I have? I have another thing that I can't remember what I also have. I have something else in there that's in-character, I can't remember what. <laughs> o OC money as well, barbarian money, normal money. Don't forget your normal money. Typically, I'll try and keep that with me. Um, in case I end up going to the out of character food court, or I need to buy something from the trader's alley using barbarian money. So yeah, make sure you have a suitable vessel for that that isn't just like a giant Hello Kitty purse. I'm sure it's a lovely giant Hello Kitty purse, it's just a bit impractical. Maybe get like one of those card ch -ch -ch, where the cards all slide out, so I have. Ah, this is one. Get one of these, super handy. <laughs> Lastly, a timekeeping device. I used to carry my phone with me all around. I don't anymore. Keep a, a pocket watch now. It's it's so much easier. Phones are so big at the moment nowadays. If you don't have a lot, oh, I sound so old. Phones can be super bulky. Mine's super bulky. Okay. It was a game changer. I, I really recommend getting yourself a small pocket watch or if you've got a wristwatch. And it just saves you having to carry your phone all around with you all the time and then awkwardly being like, oh, what's the time? And then doing the whole, oh, I'm going to discreetly, but very obviously really check the phone that's in my bag so I can see the time. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it just makes life easier. Okay. 
a lot of packing. I need to steam my dress and then I'm going to do the final bit of self-care for the evening and then I'm going to go to sleep. Bye. And so we come to the end of the vlog and the very last thing that I usually do is create my schedule for the weekend. There's usually um, posters or communities that uh, post the things that are happening over the weekend that I watch or read um, or I will read things in the Winds of Fortune because I personally like to glance over all the winds um, and just take note of the things that are relevant to my nation or my character's interests um, and just generate a, a schedule of things that I really would like to do over the weekend. Some more important than others so I'll, I'll usually just um, highlight the, the most important things to me and then other things are sort of like oh if I can go to that that would be nice um, but yeah I think this event should be fairly low key there are a couple of big things that I'd like to get more involved in but otherwise yeah it should just be a nice easy end of the year I hope <laughs> but yeah thanks for hanging out with me and uh, by the time this comes out E4 will be over um, and you'll probably next time you see me might be another dev talk in tea I have some ideas of what I want to do next um, failing that I definitely want to do a year roundup of Empire you know I've, I've been doing this for one year exactly now um, and I'd love to share my thoughts on my journey over the past year and so yeah uh, see you guys soon if i don't see you in anvil see you in my next video bye <laughs>